Hello and welcome to this tour of the HyperStack platform. HyperStack is the on-demand GPU as a service platform for NextGen, where you can easily deploy any workload in the cloud on the latest infrastructure and only pay for what you consume. Here we're looking at the HyperStack dashboard, which you will find once you log into the platform. Here you can check at a glance an overview of the virtual machines that you have created, their associated volumes, as well as your, as your balance overview. We're going to focus on the main options here to the left. We've got virtual machines. This is the list of VMs that you have created previously. All of these are now hibernated. But we can also inspect volumes, which we have previously created. Environments, which set up the configuration for each of the regions we're working on and the key pairs, which is where you define the SSH keys that you will use to access the platform. Let's go now over the flow of creating and deploying a new virtual machine. So once we tap on the button, the first thing we see is that we have a range of options to choose from. And here's this a catalog of uh, latest and greatest uh, NVIDIA GPUs, such as A100s, H100s, L40s, RTX A4000, RTX A5000, RTX A6000, and the other variation. For this particular example, I'm going to focus on the A100 with PCIe and NVLink interconnect. Inside each of the node flavors, we can check the number of GPUs that we like to use. And we can easily inspect what are the, the possibilities. In this particular case, I have eight GPUs, but in other nodes, I have the options to choose uh, fewer GPUs. This is all updated for you according to availability, so you can just follow the UI and let you guide it towards creating your virtual machine. Moving on into our form, we can check the environment we're gonna run on. And you might notice that some particular nodes may or may not be available in a particular region and this is updated in real time according to stock availability in this case i'm going to go with canada and the next thing i'm going to do is picking up the operating system i'm going to go with ubuntu and make sure that i'm in the latest version with the cuda drivers as well next is the ssh key which we have previously configured and would allow us to uh, access the vm if you need to add your uh, SSH, you can do very easily through this uh, dialog. I'm going to also enable the public IP so that I can reach the VM easily. And that's it really to create a VM in a basic configuration and we can check all the major parameters down here as well as the cost that it's gonna have per hour. Remember, these are exclusive resources which are available only to your VM. Just to show you what are the full possibilities, we're going to expand uh, additional parameters and we're going to change some of those. Uh, you can see that we can change the name instead of taking a default or random name. And we can also add SSH access so that the port is open and enabled for uh, outside connections through the IP by using the designated SSH key. There's the option to add some extra script, but we don't need that for this particular example. And after we have considered these additional parameters, we can now deploy the VM. The VM is now active and ready to be used. We have now further options to inspect the VM inside the dashboard. Here we can check configuration about networking, firewall, volumes, and basically go over all the characteristics of our VM. Most importantly though, in the overview, we can check the flavor details, in particular the GPU that we have reserved for this node. Now we can go to the terminal and connect to the IP with the designated SSH key. In this particular case, I'm giving the SSH key explicitly, but of course you can preload it in your SSH agent for convenience. Once we connect, we can type in NVIDIA-SMI command to check the GPUs that we've got available in the node. 
And sure enough, we can find the eight A100 GPUs with 80 gigabytes of VRAM memory each. Next, we can verify the topology with the topo parameter of the NVIDIA dash SMI command. And sure enough, we can uh, check the NVLINKs on a pairwise basis. All right, so our node is ready for some AI workloads. Let's go ahead. I have prepared here some scripts to run text generation with LLMs. But first, let's check the disk situation in the node with the command lsblk. We can see that in the main partition, we've got nearly 100 gigabytes available, which is not going to be enough for the models that I want to load. In the ephemeral disk, we have uh, more capacity, but as the name implies, this is ephemeral, which means that it's uh, removed once we hibernate the machine. For this particular experiment, I want to uh, preserve the model that we're going to download for easier reference. So, and for that, we're going to procure a volume and attach to it from the platform. Let's go ahead and do that. Back to our dashboards, we can see that in the volumes tab of the virtual machine, we don't have any disk attached. We can now go to the volumes tab on the left and choose uh, to create a new volume. The first thing we need to do is choose the region we want the volume to be available at. In this case, this has to be the same region where we created our VM, Canada. We can then choose the volume name. We don't need to select an image because it's not going to be bootable. And we just select our desired size. In this case, a thousand gigabytes. I can review all the information and if all looks good, I just can just hit create and the volume is created on my behalf. The volume is now available and I can just go back to the VM, find the locations of the volumes, attach a volume, find the new volume which I created, attach to it, and now we can go back to the terminal to find the new situation. And as you can see, we've got the new volume attached at the device VDD with the capacity that we chose, which is a thousand gigabytes. Next, we give it a file system. And now we can connect it to a directory of our liking. In this case, uh, I already got it created and I can just mount it there. All right, so all is ready for our workload now. We are going to pull the Hugging Face Text Generation Inference Docker image to run LLM inference. We have uh, configured the MetaLama 370B Instruct model, which is now downloading from the Hugging Face Hub into our models directory in the attached volume. We can indeed check the slash models directory and see uh, our model being stored there. All right, the model is now loaded into memory. Let's check what's the situation in our, in our GPUs. As you can tell, all of them are being used to the max in terms of the memory that we are allocating. This represents the weights of the model being shuttered for tensor parallelism among the available GPUs, and the extra space is used for the KV cache. If this sounds overly technical to you, don't worry. The main aspect to consider here is that we have already loaded all the assets needed for the execution of the LLM. So we can just go ahead and start with the text generation. We can start running our script and we start downloading the data set from Hugging Face. In this case, this is the Open Assistant data set which we are using to generate uh, chatbot responses. Back to our visualization of the GPUs, we can now focus on the right side of the screen and see the high utilization of all the GPUs. This means that the inference engine is performing inference on the LLM, Lama 3 in this case, and generating text.
Once you're done using your VM, you can just easily hibernate it to prevent uh, running costs. And this is a tour of the HyperStack platform. Uh, be sure to check out our rich documentation in case of any problem or if some issue persists, don't hesitate to reach out to us. We'll be glad to help you. Wish you success in our platform. Thanks for watching.